Hello friends, happy Monday. Tonight we're gonna paint one of the new tiered tray sets, the um, minis. I don't have the regular size tiered trays on the website anymore. Let me tip you guys down so we can go ahead and just get started. Got a little mountain scene, got a tree. We've got a little gnome here. I gotta put them together just a minute. I think this goes on here. I gotta figure out how our little gnome, here we go. So we've got our little trees, our gnome. We've got our little mountains here with our little snow. Hi, Deborah. Here's your little the uh, insert piece. So what we're doing is for the trucks. So that piece would go here. Hello, Nancy. Whoops, I'm dropping things all over the place here. So let me set it together so you can see what he looks like here real quick. So there we go. Here's our cute little gnome. And we've got this little sign that says, let's camp. If I can put it together right. And then our mountains. So this is what we are going to work on tonight. I think I'm gonna start with the mountains first, actually. And I did just send out a text for everybody, so you guys should see that coming through if you didn't get that yet. Hi, Dawn, hello, Maria. Hello, hello, everybody. I was, um. I'm on a little bit early, about 15 minutes earlier than normal, but it worked for me and I didn't want to wait and then forget or get cozy and not want to jump on. So we're here just a few minutes early, but I did, I was curious if anybody, anybody would actually hop on live with me. So I'm glad to see you guys are here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my favorite colors out. Got my two greens that I like to use. Um, we're gonna have, we've got a little moon here. Let's see. And then we've got, I've got too much stuff on this table, guys. I'm having a hard time here. I'm gonna get some nutmeg brown. We're gonna go ahead and start with just these colors to get going. Hey, Pamela. Maria, you're in Central Texas. How's the weather there? We are snowing here today. We were 80 degrees on Saturday and today we are snowing. All right, I'm going to start with my trees, I think. Oops, look, I got my towel already, but I don't have it. I think I'm just going to set it down and not use it tonight. <coughs> Uh-oh, I'm out of this lime color. Let's find another one. All right, so I like to mix my lime and my medium color green. This one's actually called Shamrock, New Shamrock for my trees. Crazy weather in Chicago too. Oh no, Maria says 80, sunny and beautiful. So jealous. It was so pretty here on Saturday when it was 80 and now we're back in snowy weather, but hopefully it doesn't last this time of year. It can't hang out too long. Hello, Wendy. All right, so I just kind of am going back over it with a little bit of that darker green just to kind of mix the greens together. I just like it to have a different, they're not blended. You can still see the different colors. I got more lime green kind of up the center. Hi, Karen. Snowing and sleeting in Michigan. That's where I am, and yes, it's the same here. I know, Pamela, I haven't seen you live in a while either. We do have, I don't remember which, are you in both clubs? I don't remember, but we do have our club uh, painting coming up. I think it's this weekend, right? Yes, this Sunday we've got paint club and then next Sunday we have got our tiered tray club. So we'll be live for that shortly. I think this one I'm gonna do different. I'm gonna do the dark green towards the top and then kind of ombre it down into the lighter green. Two different trees they're slightly different but they match same exact colors hello karen did i say hello already i might have i'm sorry i'm losing it if i did all right and then we're going to oops throw sponges on the floor i don't know if i made them on the camera for that but i just tossed one 
Tear tray, yes. Okay, so that one is on the 30th. So coming up here, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And everybody who signed up for the Patriotic Workshop, those kits, I'm gonna start cutting them tomorrow. I was gonna cut them tonight, um, but I actually just gave my sister my car for the week and so I'm not gonna babysit this week. So I'll have extra time to work during the days instead of just at night. So I'm not gonna cut tonight like I planned on and I'll get them cut tomorrow. Look at those trees now, now they look like trees. All right. <clears throat> So you guys should start seeing those kits coming. I am planning to have them ship out. Let's see here. If I cut all day tomorrow, they could ship as early as Wednesday, but I promise they'll ship out definitely by Friday morning. Hi, Penny. Hey, Betty. Hello, Mona. How is everybody? I'm so glad to see all of you on here. Okay, so the other day I did the, I don't have it right here, but I did a mountain scene and it was with pinks and purples. And I think I'm going to do the same thing again. I thought that was, I liked those colors. So... Where did I put my magenta at though? Here we go. So I'm gonna do pink and purple again for my mountain scene here, even though these ones are gonna have, did I put snow on the other ones? I might've even put snow on those ones and I just don't remember. Oh, this paint's almost empty too. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do pink on the middle and the purple towards the edge. I'm not gonna worry about them being perfect on these lines where they're etched because I'm gonna kind of ombre them. So I'm just kind of going up to the edge and then leaving it at that. exciting yes time to restock on paint for sure I just have a problem when I go to the store that I love all the colors and I just want to buy everything and I'm trying really hard not to do that so I'm trying to stay out of the store I got tons of paint it's just you know if you're a crafter you have your favorite colors that you use over and over again and the other ones just kind of sit there so I'm trying to make myself use what I already have However, I can only go so long without the colors that I love, so I'm sure I'll be in the store shortly. I'm kind of wishing that I wouldn't have done it this way now. Okay, it turned out okay. So it's ombre now, but when I was first doing it, I was getting a little bit scared. Oh, Dawn, good. I'm so excited or so happy to hear that. Hello, Linda. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to do my pink up to the line, and then we'll go into our purple. And kind of ombre that just like we did on the other side. just going to kind of clean it up again like I did the last time it just kind of gives it it just kind of blends it a little bit more and ombres it there we go I like it just a hint of that light purple this is one of my kits yes you can get this right on the website it's available already so um, just go under the tiered trays and you'll find it there 
So should I do traditional, like a light color blue for my ice at the top or like white for my snow, whatever, or should I, I totally got that on my moon and I shouldn't have done that. That's all right, we'll be able to fix it. Um, or should I do a darker purple for that part maybe? That might be kind of fun to have a darker purple in there. I'm thinking darker purple, we're gonna try it. Hi, Deanne, how are you? Deanna, sorry, I think I said Deanne. We're gonna try the darker purple. It is gonna take two coats, so I can tell already. I love these mountains, they're so fun. You think dark purple too, perfect. Don't say the S word, I know. That's what it's doing outside here right now. Well, you know, you're not far from me, right? It is not very nice out there and it was so pretty on Saturday, it's very discouraging. All right, so that's what they're looking like so far. But then I wonder, this is supposed to be a moon, so it should probably be yellow, but I was thinking about doing some blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna have to do yellow. Darker color with the moon, it's like a shadow. Darker color on the moon, you mean? So I could do the blue? Because that's what I was thinking of, was doing like a dark blue for my moon. I thought that would look cool. Yes, Linda, I do. I go live every Monday around six o'clock and I also have a YouTube channel with all of my previous lives. So if you've purchased a kit, most of them are on there. I don't get to paint every single one live, but I do have quite a few. This has $75 on it from your shopping spree. Oh. Unless you wanted cash. Just set it right there for now, it's fine. Perfect, mm -hmm. thank you. I think I understand what you're saying, but I'll ask you when I'm done, okay? Okay. Love ya. 50 degree change, yeah, it's crazy. That's why I don't know if I've been coughing while I've been on here live yet, but I've been coughing for like over a week now and it's just allergies, I'm not sick. But I swear it's just cause the weather just keeps changing back and forth. So I'm ready for it to be done, ready for true. What colors did I use? I will let you know here in just a second. I'll pull them back up. I'm gonna want another blue, I think. Okay, so I love bright magenta. It's my favorite pink. So I did bright magenta for this part. And then for my lighter part that I ombre I love this Anita's um, Hyacinth, I believe you call it. It's just a really light purple. And then for the top part, I used purple iris for the, like the snow caps basically is what that is. Um, and then this blue that I'm using for the moon is cobalt hue. Hello, Aunt Janet. Guess what? I got chickens coming. I got five baby chickens coming. So I now will have four ducks, two turkeys, and five chickens. And they're blue silkies. They are the cutest things ever. Okay, so there's our little mountain scene. I love it with the blue. Hopefully you guys like it. I can always change it if we don't like it. And we got our little trees. They're gonna sit, you know, in our little, um, so they go in this. So they're gonna sit in this back part where this bunny is and I'll show you when we're done here with it. All right, let's go on to our gnome. I'm gonna give him brown shoes. I don't know, it's just been Last few gnomes that I've done, I just feel like they needed brown shoes, so that's what he's gonna get. He's out in the woods, you know, on his hike or camping, so brown shoes are perfect for that. All right. And then, so we can make him fun. I think that 
I'm gonna give him blue jeans. Let's do the same blue that we just used, just because I like to use the same colors if I can, just to pull everything together. And then, I don't know if I wanna do white hair for my gnome or if I wanna give him like orange hair. I'm kinda of thinking orange hair would be fun. Maybe orange hair and a bright hat. All right, so there's his jeans, because this is gonna, yes, it's gonna cover him up. What do you guys think? Should we give him orange hair? I did, Deborah. I found them. I, they won't be available until June, but I am so excited to get them. Oh, you did just finish the bunny? That one's my bunny. Isn't he cute? I love this one. This one was so fun. I love all the little tear tray ones. The minis, these are my favorite kits right now. These and the trucks. I love the trucks too. Okay, so let me know what you guys think for um, his hair. I'm thinking orange would be kind of fun. Let me know if you agree. And I'm going to go ahead and do his hands and his nose. And this is just, I believe, toasted marshmallow is what I usually use. Let me just double check. Yep, toasted marshmallow. gonna go ahead and do an orange hair so what I'm gonna use this is just spiced carrot it's just the first one I picked up so I'm gonna use that and I might mix it with a little bit of the yellow and probably some white and I'm gonna do a brush for his hair you guys I did it again I didn't clean my brushes last time but these ones aren't that bad <clears throat> so we just need it to cover from here down I might actually just use the yellow and the orange. I don't know, we'll probably still throw some white in there. We'll see. I just kind of like the way that blends. Kind of a little too orange for me, I think. So I do think we'll add some white in there, but I really like the yellow and the orange together. And I just kind of go in the same direction that his hair would lay. And I leave it kind of choppy looking. I don't worry about smoothing out the brush strokes for this because then it looks more realistic. So we got that in there. Let me find some white. Actually, I'm just gonna use the marshmallow instead of white since I don't have any out yet and I'm just going to kind of blend some in not really even blended and I'm just going to kind of throw some in some little white hair strokes so there we go hey Pam how are you so this is what he's looking like now and he's so cute so, so cute. So I'm thinking a green hat. Do you guys think a green hat is going to be okay? And then we've got his little guitar, so i got to paint that still. I'm thinking my nose is itching really bad right now. I am thinking for the guitar I'm going to stick with the same color and then just make where the strings are at darker. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this part right here quick. Let me know your thoughts on the green hat, guys, and I'll do that part next. Oops, I said green, and I almost dipped my sponge into green paint. <coughs> I have got a bunch of new kits that I want to get cut for you guys and listed on the website. Um... I have more truck inserts coming and I have more of these little mini tear tray kits coming. So 
like I said, I got to get the workshop kits cut in the next couple of days. And I do have a few orders that need to go out too. Um, but then I'll also be working on getting some new kits up by the end of the week. There's that part. I think green would look good. Just sitting watching it snow. Oh my goodness. I bet you guys got lots of snow there too, huh? All right. We don't have too much snow. I mean, it snowed like giant snowflakes today, but it didn't didn't really stick to the ground. So I guess that part's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lime green for his hat. And I think a blue stripe. Oh no, I got green on his nose. It's all right, we can just wipe it right up. go. I'll let that sit just a second and then I'm going to do the blue stripe right in the middle there. Do I have the trucks? Um, what trucks are you talking about, Linda? I've got these trucks. This is for the tiered trays. So if you go under tiered tray, um, you can get those to put them in. Otherwise, are you talking about the bigger trucks? I have 12 inch and 24 inch trucks like that one back there. It's predicted for three inches by tomorrow night. Oh my goodness. Last I checked, I don't think we're supposed to get any more snow here after today, so hopefully that's the case, but like you said, who knows? We're in Michigan. We never know. I remember a couple of years ago when we were putting our pool in at the old house, um, it was still snowing in May when we were putting the pool in, like digging the ground for it, so... And I could do this with my sponge too, but I just am choosing to use a brush because I think it gives me a little bit better control. My hands get really shaky and I don't want to go outside the lines. <clears throat> okay. Stick this back in my little. I better clean it up on my towel. There we go. Oh, I forgot he has a little part that sticks out. So, for this little tiny part that sticks out, I'm going to go ahead and do the darker green just to give it some dimension. And then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing him down. Whoops. How stinking cute is he? Hi, Mom. All right, and then I think we're going to put him this way to hold his little guitar. He's out camping, having a good time singing by himself at the campfire. Oh, his hands are like, hold on, he don't look right. He does have to go this way because otherwise his thumbs were like the wrong way. All right. It's all right. The paint, the glue actually let me clean it up. So there's our little gnome. <coughs> Probably have to run the dryer on that in a second, but for now it's good. And then we've got this little piece that is going to be our, um, well, actually, hold on. Does this go like this or does this go on here? Hold on a minute. I thought that it went on there, but I think it goes on here. It does, and this is just 
a tent. Weird. Okay, whatever. That's cool. We'll do it this way. <coughs> Try to find my little green sponge. So we've got like trees behind here. In our background. And then I think these are just more trees back here, um, but I'm gonna do those in the darker green to give us some variation. And then we've got a little mountain over here. I think it's a mountain at least. That's gonna be covered up. A little 3D piece here. So I don't have to worry about that. And then let's do, I think I'm going to do the purple, whoops, for this mountain. And maybe add a little bit of pink in there, but it's going to be mostly purple because the other one was mostly pink. And then this bottom down here is just going to be our ground, so that's going to be done probably in the nutmeg brown color. And let's add just a little bit of pink on this side over here. I ended up adding a little bit more pink just because of the way that it blended, but that's all right. Whoops, I got blue on here. And when I'm not happy with it, I just reblend till I am. So I like that better. So we're gonna go with that. And then this bottom part is just gonna be our dirt. So we're gonna stick that. Oh, let's see, I'm losing my sponges. I'm gonna do that with the nutmeg brown. That's my favorite light color brown. I'm just gonna run that right along the edge here and then fill in the whole bottom. Like so. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Vicki. How are you? Let's see. Missing any comments? I don't think so. If I if you said something to me and I didn't get back to you, I will after the live. Um, I try to keep up with the comments while I'm on here, but I don't always. So, okay. So this we should do some orange and some yellow because it's a fire. Let's see. It's purple. Didn't I have orange? I thought I used one already. I guess not. Something just fell on the floor. Hopefully it was nothing I needed. I'm gonna do orange for my background. And then I'm gonna ombre some orange and yellow on the flame on the front. Could even add some red, which I might do to the very tips of those. Actually, I think I'm going to, let me see. I can get a little red here. So I'm just gonna get a tiny, tiny bit of red and just kind of go along the very top of my flames. got it on my fingers. It's all right. I was able to clean it up. Let me grab my 
grab a little bit darker brown here. Use some chocolate sprinkle. Yes, Linda, I use a lot of sponges. Um, I used to use just brushes, and now that I got into sponges, I just like them more, but I use brushes still um, for certain things. So, But 90% of what I do is done with a sponge. And they're just makeup sponges that you can get from like the dollar store, so inexpensive. I reuse mine. I don't wash them. Some people wash them. I just cut mine down, so this is almost a full-size one, and then... After I cut them down like five or six times, I end up like this. So I just keep reusing them until they are no longer usable and then I toss them and start over. <clears throat> just a dab will do. So there's our cute little flame and I'm just going to glue it on here and then we'll go ahead and worry about our letters here for the words in just a second. And then I'll put it in the truck and show you guys the finished project. I think it's super cute. Oh, we've got our little camper thing here too still. So this is like, it's like an actual tent. Let's do some blue sky background. have our little green grass underneath our tent. I think I'm probably gonna use a brush for that part and I think I'm gonna make up a red tent. Why I choose red, I don't know. I just think that will look good. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Let me find this teeny tiny brush here. So there we go, our little tent out in the woods. Now we have got to do our letters. So we've got the word words, let's camp. Should we do those? I could do those in red because we don't have any other red other than that little bit on the flame and on our tent. And I think that would pull everything together good. So let's try that. Sometimes have yellow and blue tents. Yes, yes they do. Um, I think I answered all the questions there. I'll come back through though. Like I said, if I, if I don't answer you live, I will come through and answer you in the comments. I think I'm going to do red. I'm going to try it. And if we don't like it, you know, the good thing with the paint is that you can just let it dry and start over and do something completely different. So you cannot ruin these kits. I had, I don't know, I mean, some of you are in my paint club or the tear tray club too, um, and so you might have already seen, but one of our members had their grandkids painting, well, not painting, I think that they just used um, markers on these kits, so you can totally do that. You can decoupage them, you can paint them, you could use markers for them. There's no right or wrong way, and there's so many cute ideas. Everybody has just something different in their mind um, and they all turn out so cute. What kind of sponges? They're just makeup sponges. Um, I don't have a, this one's not completely full, but they're just like the little triangle makeup sponges um, that I use. You can get them from like the Dollar Tree usually has them in, um, in a bag or Walgreens or Walmart. I think pretty much anywhere in the makeup section you can get the sponges. And they last me for quite a while because I just keep cutting them down and reusing the same ones. So I don't have to, I don't go through very many of them. I 
also do have stuff linked on my Amazon page on my website. So if you go to dizzydesigner.com, there's a spot there um, for my Amazon favorites. And you can, I think that I have the sponges linked on there too. They're probably more expensive because you have to buy them in bulk versus going to the dollar store and just getting a pack of them. But if you paint a lot, it's definitely worth it. All right. So let me see. Oh, did I use, I used a different kind of Velcro, but this will still work. So I'm gonna take this cut out of here and I'll put this new one together and show you. Where did I put the... I didn't glue our mountain down. So let me glue these pieces real quick. There we go. Now I think I have everything glued that needs to be glued. And we could totally glue these trees. I might actually glue the trees. We'll see how they stand in here in a second. Um, so this is the tear tray truck sitter shelf, I think is what it's called, kind of a lot of words. But basically it's for the mini trays and they just fit right in here perfectly. This little spot right here is where this is gonna get attached to. It's actually still drying, so I'm not gonna worry about that yet. But I just used a little piece of Velcro and I have some industrial Velcro, Velcro left from an old kit that I had, and I just kind of cut into little chunks. But you can also, there's Velcro linked on my um, page on my website as well. But you can get that, I think, at the dollar store too. So if not the dollar store, you definitely can get Velcro at Walmart. Okay, so we got our little mountains. They're going to go here. Then we've got our little piece here. And where did I put my, there they are. They're underneath my paint tray, which we didn't end up painting them because I forgot about them, but that's okay. I have a million of these little things because I have all these kits sitting around. So you just insert your pieces into the back like so. And then they're going to hook onto the back of your truck. So that hangs there. And then we've got our cute little gnome. Whoa. So our gnome's gonna sit in here too with the mountains in front of him. Be uh, sorry, not in front of him, behind him. And then we got these cute trees. So you could put trees on both sides of him if you wanted to. You could put a tree in the front and in the back, which is what I think I'm going to do if I can get him to stand up here. And I probably will glue mine so that the trees stay. But look at how cute that is. Let me run the dryer on this real quick and throw some um, Velcro on it so I can show you it all done. You're welcome. scissors here and I just like I said I just use this whatever I have if you can use something that you've got and save yourself some money do that I just take this little piece and cut it down and then I'll stick it on the back side here it might still be a little wet so I'm being kind of gentle with it but then that'll stick right on there and there is my new tiered tray set isn't that so cute like I said, I do have more of those coming this week. Um, hopefully by the weekend, I'll have those up on the website. I think there's four new mini sets coming. And then I've got a couple of the truck inserts like that coming as well. My cell painting is more stressing and antique looking. I do like the bright colors for summer, but I do like the antiquing too. So some of my stuff is done like that, but I've been really into the bright colors the last couple of paintings. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, well, that is it for our Monday Live. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and we'll plan to be live again on Monday. If you're in the paint club, we will be live on Sunday night in that private group. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon and I hope you have a great week. Bye, everybody. Hi, Trisha. Bye, everybody.